Hello and welcome to your yoga practice. Today's pause will focus on Warrior 3 pose. So we've worked on Warrior 1, Warrior 2, and now we are going to work on Warrior 3. And for this pose, two blocks will be highly encouraged. And that's what we will start with. So come to the top of your mat. Have your blocks in their highest height about shoulders width distance apart. And we'll start off first with a nice forward fold. So folding over your legs, maybe your knees have a generous bend to them. Shake out your neck, hands are on the blocks. Take a few breaths here. So just starting to get into your body and feel free to have a very big bend in your legs. We want our torso to be able to just lay over your thighs right now. We're about to work our back. So warrior three really relies on a strong back and an open heart, strong leg, and courage too. All right, starting to straighten the legs, press into the hands, straighten the spine, looking slightly forward. So into this halfway lift. And from here, this is where we are going to start exploring our warrior three at first. All right. So you can kind of center that left foot and then start coming on, start reaching your right leg back and come onto the right toes, squaring the hips. Hands are on your blocks. Imagine that your back is nice and strong. I can even set a few glasses and they will not fall. And then start to elevate that back leg thinking about keeping those hips nice and squared. Maybe you even look back, make sure that you can see those toes and even the right toe is spinning towards the mat. So your body is in a warrior three, your hands are still on the blocks. And this is where we will be this first time around. So we're almost there. This is more of a supported warrior three or a lower half split, all right? So lower that right leg, you can pedal out the knees, all right? So again, pressing your hands into the mat, maybe you walk that right foot in slightly, and then left foot goes a little bit behind you, coming onto the toes, and already squaring those hips. Straight, strong back, trying not to round the spine, but instead keeping it nice and neutral, and then when you're ready, using your glutes and the back of your leg, start lifting up that left leg. Squaring the hips and then take a peek. See if you can see your foot. And then usually it takes a little bit of adjustment. Spin your legs so that that pinky toe is pointing towards the mat as well. We don't wanna super kick it up into the air. We want it to be an extension of our spine, which is why we want to see Check and see if we can see those toes. And then holding here at first, just feeling that shape in our body. All right, releasing that left leg, coming into your forward fold. So bending the knees, torso over the legs. And then we'll try it again. And we'll try it with an arm lift as well. So it'll look kind of like when we're in tabletop and we extend opposite arm and leg, it'll look like that except we're on our feet. Just building up the strength to start getting into warrior three. Straighten the legs, pressing into the blocks, centering through the left foot. Start to reach that right foot back, toes are still on the mat. That way we can check in with the alignment of our hips. And then when you're ready, start lifting that right leg up. Take a peek, see if you can see those toes, pinky toe is spinning towards the mat, hips are squared. And if you need to change the distance of your blocks, please do. All right. And since our right leg is up, our right hand is going to press on the block and then start to reach that left arm forward. Bringing belly button towards your spine, not letting anything sag and imagining that your arm and your leg are making a straight line. Your gaze is slightly forward of the mat. It's really feeling this beautiful extension of the spine. It's awesome balance on your left leg. 
and then release the left hand, release the right leg, pedal out the knees. All right, so just building up that core strength at first. Walk the right foot towards center, just a little bit towards the center so that you're more centered over that right leg. Reach the left leg back, toes are still on the mat, squaring the hips, and when you're ready, start lifting that left leg up, squaring the hips, taking a peek behind you to square those toes, even pinky toe is pointing towards the mat. Since our left leg is lifted, press into the left hand, start reaching the right hand forward. Imagining that the arm and the leg are one long straight line. Belly button draws in towards the spine, gaze is slightly forward of the mat. Even your neck is an extension of your spine. Holding here, really getting into that core strength, remembering this shape in your body. And then hand down, foot down, taking a forward fold. And we're actually not going to get into our full warrior three from there. I find that it's a little hard to elevate from there. So we're going to get into it from standing and then we'll try it from a lunge as well, just for fun. <laughs> All right, generous bend in the knees, coming up to stand, remove the blocks from your way. All right, so there are so many ways to get into your warrior three. We'll start it, we'll learn two different ways from standing. We'll start with our hands to our hearts. Really press your hands together, helping you to find center. Center over your left leg and start to bring your right foot behind you, just like we were doing when we were in our halfway lifts just a moment ago. And then like your one long line, just start leaning forward as you lift your right leg behind you. Tilting forward, chest is proud, gaze is forward. You're not gonna check and look back for the toes. Instead, you're going to find a point to gaze at. You can have a little bend in your left leg. Hips are squared, hands can stay at your heart. Other arm variations are you can reach them behind you. You can have your arms soaring by your side. You can reach your hands forward, whatever feels good. And then just the way we came in, descending those toes, starting to lift up the torso and right foot meets the left. Wiggle it out. Nicely done. All right. Coming back to standing, hands to heart center. Centering your weight over the right foot. This time, left leg goes behind you on the toes. And you know where we're going. Imagine your body in a nice straight line. Start tilting forward. Gaze is in front of you. Lift that left leg up. Almost like you're this lever, this plank that's moving. Your heart is shining forward. Gaze is forward. Imagine those hips squaring. Imagine that left foot behind you, pinky toe pointing towards your mat. A little bend in the right knee. And then arms can be behind you, beside you, in front of you, or they can remain at your heart. This is a lot in your glutes, I know. And then descending those left toes, torso up, left foot meets the right, pedal it out, all right. That's one way of getting into it from standing. Let's try another way, and this is personally my favorite way to get into it. Bringing your hands to your heart, center your weight over your left foot, bring your right knee to your chest, yes. And from here, inhale and exhale, kicking that leg back, coming forward. So in this variation, I just feel like I have so much more lift. It does require a lot in your left leg, a lot in your glutes, bringing belly button towards your spine. Maybe you pick an arm variation or just keep those hands at your heart. It's a great place to be because it's gentle with your shoulders. And the more you press your hands into each other, the more you work your pectoral muscles, which is nice. And then you can come back you can either drop that right foot 
or bring your right knee to chest again. Set that foot down. Wiggle out the legs. I know this is a lot. All right. So you on the other side. Hands to heart center. Center your weight over your right foot. Left knee comes to your chest. Inhale here. Exhaling, flying back. Warrior three. Finding your arm variation of choice or keeping those hands at heart center, pressing those hands together. Hmm. Warrior three requires so much courage. So you have to look over the horizon almost or over a cliff. And then you can either descend your left foot right away or bring your left knee to your chest. And then bring your left foot to the mat. Wiggle up the legs. All right. So I'll show you one more way of getting into this. We'll do it from a lunge. We'll come into your downward facing dog. Sometimes we put in warrior three right in the middle of your flow. All right. Inhale, right leg goes up. Keeping the hips squared again, and then bring your right foot in between your hands. You can stay on your toes, coming into a high crescent lunge. Inhale. Exhaling, bring your hands behind you or at your heart, and turbo crescent. So your upper body is at a diagonal. And then start launching yourself forward onto that right leg. Warrior three. Inhale here. Exhaling, left toes down, coming back into that high crescent lunge. And then exhale, hands plant down, stepping back. Downward facing dog. Yeah. So you'll see that when we spend time talking about alignment of a pose, and then we do it in the middle of a flow, <laughs> um, you don't have as much time when you're flowing. But if you practice the poses, you'll be able to more easily find them in your body when you're flowing. All right, other side. Inhale, left leg goes up, keeping the hips as squared as you can. And then sending that left foot in between your hands, staying on the right toes, coming up into your high crescent lunge. Inhale, arms up. And then exhale, sending your torso forward in a diagonal line. Your hands can be behind you or you can have your hands at your heart. And then soaring forward, gliding onto that left leg, finding your warrior three. It is a lot, I know. You're doing great. One last inhale here, exhaling. Right toes come down, arms come up. High crescent lunge. And then exhaling, hands plant down, sending your left foot to meet the right. Downward facing dog. And then you've earned it. Bring your knees to the wide edges of your mat. Big toes to touch. Hands come forward. Forehead towards the mat. Child's pose. Great job. Great job, great job. And then walk your hands towards your knees. Come to sit on your shins or in an easy seat facing the front of your mat or your screen, bring your hands to your heart. I hope that you really enjoyed that pause to get into warrior three pose. It is so important to practice your alignment in all of these yoga poses. So that way when you do flow on your mat, you're, it's a little easier to find these expressions of your body. I hope that you enjoyed and that I see you again on your mat. Have a beautiful day. Bye.